All right, so this is uh, my four stripe blue belt, Andy. He trains a lot. He's a uh, featherweight like me, and he used to be a, be a power lifter, so he's stronger than he looks. Um, he's good at like flipping people with their feet, so I'm I'm protecting myself from that. Um, he has good downward pressure, so I, I'm pretty sure I want X guard right here. Now he wants a knee bar. I don't care about X guard. I just want to get out. Hopefully get on top when I'm out of this. He did a good job going for this thing. So he's got his top hook in. Okay, he pulled it out. I think I was glad he pulled it out. We are we don't have a lot of space. We're in a garage, so there's another group near us. <laughs> That's when I see the camera, so I better turn it up. I like I've been pulling people's head in a lot. Um it really limits what they're doing. Whatever it is. So I like the spin. It's like holding on to a spinning wheel. Um A lot of people start doing that later in training, so I've done it for a couple years. I know when people do it to me it's formidable. He's got really strong grips. My question in my head is, do I 100% respect what he's going for, or do I kind of let him have it a little, and then hopefully come out of it with an arm bar or a submission myself? Um, we kind of in more or less stalemated. I had side, I was on top, and I end on top. Neither one of us got caught. So I, there, I just blocked his leg and went to the other side. Um, and he he's good at getting his knee shield in. I couldn't decide whether to get him in like a a, a vice grip with my legs and choke or um, take the back. So because of the way he moved, I, I decided to go for the back. Trying to get my four points. So we we do a couple tournaments a year, um, but we, we always spar like <clears throat> it's a tournament um, or like we're fighting. So if something happens and we're in an altercation or um or we do a tournament i know those aren't the same thing we're we're sharp and we're ready he's got good butterfly hooks i tried to trick him i was gonna spin and then i was gonna spin the other way but he knows it there's the spin again you gotta stay close to your training partner when you spin if you get a foot away forget it They'll get their butterfly hooks in or recover guard. I kept wanting to banana split him. His legs are really strong. So to get a banana split on him is um, something I'm looking for because it's not easy. I know he wants a Kimura. I'm not afraid of it. Um, so I kind of let him hold on to it to waste his time while I set other stuff up. Only so long I want to be in a position like that. <laughs> I had the top a lot. Now I want to do the bottom. But I didn't want to get a sweep. So like I say, we we spar like it's a tournament. Um, I, I try to have good habits. That way I don't need to change a lot for uh, when I fight a tournament. I got his ankle. He's good at those barambolo, dive, spin. He he's real comfortable being stacked. Didn't didn't quite get the triangle there. So many things are just one second away from disaster or uh if, if being submitted is a disaster. I just have a, a sense he's going for it and I um make a move and I'm a lot of times I'm oh I'm glad I I thought I'm glad I respected what I thought he was going to do. Do I underhook pass? Do I just settle for guard for a second? He's trying to dig under there. Okay, he wants an omoplata. He wants a knee bar. He's good at transitioning back and forth. So much stuff happens that your autopilot takes over. 
Oh, I, I was hoping he'd take side control. I've been working a Darce choke from side control. We're, we're near the end. I wanted something flashy. Oh, here's my X guard sweep. If I get a fancy move like an X guard sweep, I'll, I allow myself to go for cheap um, toe holds and stuff, but I still didn't get them. I think he should have scooted out there and kind of faced me ch chest down. I think he would have won, but um, he kept kept his legs around me, so I got on top. That's someone said ten seconds left or five seconds. So I that's when you skip steps. That's when you just go fast and use everything you have. <laughs> 